Well, hello there. We are back on the Adults Craft Bedrock server, and today we are going to get going with a concrete converter because, as you can see, I use an extraordinary amount of it, and it is very hard and very time-consuming to make up if we don't have a machine to do it. So, I've started out here. I have got a little grey concrete pad to start building on. So first things first, we're going to get the actual converter part of it in. So I'm going to sort of start about probably where that torch is actually. So we'll just shift that over there. Plunk one of it. It's probably going to be in the way. We'll just leave it out just now. So it's a fairly simple affair. We're just going to need a few components. So that's basically all the redstone you're going to need. So to start off, I'm going to pick my sort of spot because give myself a wee bit of space at the sides and behind it so probably there no don't want it that way we want it that way like so and we can get rid of that and we'll plop that in instead so realistically all I need to do is put that around about it and we'll shove a stair on there get a concrete back and we'll just block this we'll put one there so what we want is an observer right in front of it facing that way okay so what we need to do is we want to fire this piston with this observer so we're going to knock out that block and if we jump around here we're going to knock that one out as well and you'll see why for that one in a minute so first things first, you want a repeater pointing out that block. You want a repeater here on two ticks. And then we just run some redstone around like that. And that... And now if we throw a block on here, it pushes it up. So basically, I don't know if you can, might be able to see it here. So if you watch this repeater here when I place a block, it fires and then instantly gets locked. So... Basically, if we didn't have that there, and we picked up, let's fire some of that. If we did that, it would just constantly fire as it sees the piston going up and down in front of it. So, we'll stop that. There we go. So, by putting this repeater in on a delay, it stops, it locks that right after it fires. So, you'll see it go once, and that's all it does. So then, to finish the converter, all we need to do now is put a bucket of water on there. Because we put the hole in, it flows down. So now we should, in theory, have the basic system working. We just point at that, converts it, pushes up, converts it, pushes up, converts it, pushes it up. And there we go. So we'll knock all that out, because that's always helpful to have. Next step, next step, what you want to do is we'll take some of that, we're going to bring that up to, and we're going to put piston on there. And what I tend to do is if I burst out the scaffolding for this one, I tend to do it, the scaffolding all wrong, is what I tend to do here. I can never get that right. So what I usually do is put it five pistons up. So like so. That is five. Yes. I'll go ahead and throw that up. So that means when you've got all your concrete up, you can still catch it from the bottom and mine it out of your pick. So you're not losing any up the top. So we'll take that block off. Now we need to get back up to the top. So we'll go from here this time and we'll go up. And we'll build us a little platform. We'll stick a scaffold in there so we can go. So we just want a little platform here. <coughs> and we're basically going to build the same circuit as we had down below. So you're going to want your reverber. Actually, we need to go down one and one too high. Where did my concrete go? There it's there. So from the fourth piston, that's where you're wanting your little platform to be. We'll scoop up that and just add it on there. And 
So once you've got your little platform, you want an observer there facing that way as before. And then we will break out the repeaters again. So we should, in theory, be able to do this right off the back of it this time. Rather than pulling it around the side like we did the last time. Two ticks. Is that three? No, one, two. And then we'll grab... No, I don't want a repeater there. We'll grab a wee bit more concrete just to finish this off. Doosh, doosh. There we go. So now we have a feed line here that we can run into these pistons. So what we'll need to do is move the scaffold in. So give me a second. I'm going to go move this scaffold in and I'm going to go and sleep the night away. And then we'll be back to run it down into this line here. So now we have daylight and glass. What we're going to do is we're going to run a little glass tower. All the way up to the top. Connect up with that one, and we should. Oh no, wrong place. Another one there. That will fire that one. And then all we'll need to do is run it off the back to fire the other ones, I think. But we'll test it and see what happens. I'm pretty sure it will only fire. Well, yep, yeah, it does that sometimes if you're on a a multiplayer world. One more, we should see two of them. So these two need fed with a signal as well. So all we need to do is put a bit of glass there. And we can probably knock that out from above. We'll see how it's laid out. And then if we take that one out, just drop it down one, put one there. That should only be one tick. I did that wrong. And one there. So, if we now fill it back up, doesn't matter if there's one in it, it'll still push them up out of the way. We should see the whole lot fire. Perfect. And as you can see, you can reach all of them, which is perfect. Okay, so we've got all that working. So what... I normally would do now is if you've watched my single player series and such you will know that I would normally run something like that along and then we will put in another row of how many have we got one two three wow well, four five six seven seven will do uh, and then We'll run them straight up, so we'll grab that. Oh, dokey. So, we now have the wall of pistons in. One thing I did have to do was knock out the concrete block under the observer, just because that line's powering the second piston down there, but that's not a big deal. So we'll pull out our concrete again, and this time I'm going to want, not there, I'm going to want one there. Because I want to put my observer on the top there. Then going to pull off this way. So that I can take the signal this way. I probably can get away with that. Uh, need to jump down and make it appear. So, we are going to, I don't want red, don't want red. So now, what we're going to do, now we've got the observer on, we we'll put one there. And if I can jump, one there. Doosh, doosh. I think we need that one there, I'm not 100% sure. And we'll just pull that over there. Only one, not two, one. So that should be the circuit, so when uh, if we knock them out, we should see it fire, yep, there we go. So now all we need to do is take that down and split it onto all of those. Okay, so we have now got 
the rest of the system in. As you can see, I've been running it a wee bit just to play with it. So it's quite a simple little affair really on the back. You're just what you're gonna do is take you're gonna have three rows of concrete, one on the bottom row of pistons, one on the middle and one on the top row. And if we jump up, all you're doing is running redstone on top of those three rows. And then very simply just having a wee glass ladder of redstone down to those three levels and that will fire all these pistons when this circuit runs. I've made a couple of adjustments to the timing so I've got this on one tick and this one on two ticks now. You'll probably need to play with the timings on this one and this one because it's actually set on the same now. So it's one and one I think on this side. Um, it's purely down to server, realm, single player, you know, how many players are on. So you probably need to play with the timings a wee bit just to get it working right so that the pistons are all firing correctly and they're not shaking in and out. Um, <coughs> so there is just a couple of little things that we need to do. So one more thing, as you can see, you do now and again will get a block spat out somewhere so we'll need to put a wee bit of protection in for that just so that we don't have that happening all the time so what we're gonna do is i forgot to bring my redstone box not my redstone box what did i forget obsidian and that's what we need so we'll jump in here so what we need is that obsidian so all you're gonna do is the one beside the observer just run a pillar of the obsidian down to the bottom of where that piston is. That will stop anything getting pushed out this side because pistons can't push obsidian. And if we run up to the top, what we'll be wanting is one also just above that observer there. And that will stop anything getting pushed out the top. And that will just lag proof the whole design really. Um, you will get the odd time that one will get up but it will be right after that set fires and that will double fire and push one block out that way and you'll end up with an extra one here which you don't want because it will either destroy a building you put around it or it won't get pushed that way meaning it's not in this block for you to mine out which is pretty much I mean it's not a deal breaker for it but it's something we don't want to happen so chuck them in there just now so what we will end up with once you've run it a while is a big block of concrete like that it will go one two three four five six seven eight so it will go a maximum of 12. you can make it wider if you want you can go up to 12 in that direction but i would suggest you don't go more than the five high because you'll need to climb on top of it to mine it out so that seems to work the best so that is the bulk of well that is pretty much all of the technical work that you need to do on this thing so i think now i am going to go and make up some more concrete on this and then get started on a building around about it so i'll bring you back in when i've got a bit more of that done and we'll see how we're getting on Let's go look at what we built, if the button will press and it will. Let's go look at what we built. Take off. There we go. Floating tube! Almighty oh, tube, why do you float so high? Plump. Hello guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I have done a bit of building. It hasn't, it wasn't what I planned, but I kind of like the look of it. Kind of went sort of semi-industrial, but not quite, I don't know. When you sort of look at it, it kind of looks like, when you get back here, so it looks like a theatre from the back, which is kind of cool. It, it might actually look quite good and the grand scheme of things once all this is decorated but I kept it pretty simple and um, just basically put a box on the back of it to 
protector of the red stone. Left the glass. Well, I put glass in so we can see in and see the red stone going, but I mean it's not that fancy. There's a few torches there that need swapped for sea lanterns, but yeah, kept it simple. Obviously, it's up a bit because I haven't decorated any of this yet, so um, yeah. But just filled in some of the gaps. Annoyingly, though, I can't fill this gap in because the redstone's right there and it fires these pistons. But put a bit of black in behind it, you don't notice it really that bad, and it stops you chopping that out every time you take a row of concrete out from there, so it's fine. Got a wee door over on this side as well, just to get in. I need to put a door on it, but just so we can get in and adjust timings and things if we ever need to. I might just leave the scaffold in there or move it into a corner or something. But um, yep, so we've got the floor in. We just sort of put kind of industrial looking red markings on it with some redstone lamps to light it up. Got a couple in there just to provide a bit of downlighting because those bits were quite dark. Still need to spawn proof the roof, but I need to spawn proof that as well. So I need to carpet on all the, the edges so I can take the torches off. But yeah, I think it works quite nicely. And if we can jump up and take off. Nope. There we go. It fits in quite well. It's got enough detail to it that it, it, it works. So there's one last thing I want to do. And that will be over in the shopping area. So I am going to fly over there. Well, I'm going to take the nether through there. And I'll see you when we get there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so we've just arrived back in Spawn Town. And as you can see, there's lots, lots of new shops popped up. Lots going on down here now. So we've got a huge crafting table, which looks amazing. And we've got this little... Oh, hoo, hoo, more diamonds. So obviously, with the witch up running so much, I've been running a wee flash sale on Glowstone, and it's doing pretty well, actually. I've sold it out once, and that's another four diamonds, so we're doing well on that one. I'll need to bring a bit more over to it. And as you can see, the super smelter, Jokers has finished that building, so he's got his belt back, which looks awesome. And there is a hint of chicken in the window again, which looks cool. There's so much stuff. We've got the town hall, got the enchant shop, raid shop, our rocket shop, beacon shops now, and we've got a blaze shop. Well, I think it's a fiery things, but it's got blaze on the top. So it's all like lava and stuff like that. Wood shops now over here, which looks amazing. They've decorated the outside of it so well. Actually, it looks like a lumber yard. It's so cool. But, it's time for us to open another shop, because we've got the rocket shop, which is doing alright. Nah. I emptied it out not that long ago, so nothing really too big a shock there. People don't tend to fly about quite as much as on yet. So, so I've just basically picked the next plot up for my next shop, and probably if you've read this sign when we're running past, you can guess what it is. But I'm not going to build that just yet, because this is all I've got. So I've got slow falling, fire resistance, and water breathing. Don't really have much else. What are you... So, what I thought was... We'll have a little delivery van just sitting here till we get round to building the shop. Maybe next episode, I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided what I'm doing, if I'm honest, but I thought a wee van would be quite cool. So let's just give ourselves some space. You may hear in the background some, it sounds like a hoover, but it's actually my laptop dying for some reason. I think I may be working it a bit too hard this morning. So, maybe make it a wee bit smaller. Actually, we'll leave the 
those wheels. So the booths are back in front over here. We'll move it back one, I think. Don't want this thing huge because it's only temporary. So what can we do? If we come up. And obviously it's not going to look much like a van. Maybe take that one out. And I've never built a van in Minecraft before, so we'll just plod this out and see what happens. So, it's probably the worst looking van in Minecraft history, but it'll do the job just now. Added some of lights and stuff into it. Um, yeah, it's temporary. That's all I can say is it's temporary. And um, purely so that I can stock up all this stuff. So, uh, so I wish there was like a take all button for bedrock. That would be so good. So let's just get the last of these in and then we will put a wee sign up saying how much. Yeah, mate. Use the spruce ones. So Potion fan. Potion. That's totally wrong. Potion van. Dog. More stock. Soon. Pick and mix one diamond equals three portions. Hi, I'll do that now. Make some diamonds, make some profit, and then we can build a proper shop. So We'll put these away, because I don't want to be carrying them about. Is there anything in these? Let's just check. I think I'm going to invest those over here in some more sea lanterns. Because I'm using tons. So anyway guys. I think what we'll do. Is we'll end here. Because well. My building skills are seriously running out. With the looks of this thing. But as always. If you liked the video. Do smash that thumbs up button. And if you're not already. Do consider subscribing. It will get you notified of my all my videos coming out. Um. And if you've got any comments or suggestions on an idea for my potion shop, please do drop them down below. I've got a couple of ideas, but I'd love to hear what you thought about what I could do here. And I will see you next time. Woohoo! Goodbye!